Hey everyone, this is Mr. Nunn again. Today we're going to go over some slightly more advanced graphing. Um, as you can probably already tell, we're going to be graphing some different points today that use decimals. Uh, so let's take a look at our first point. We have point N, uh, and you can see our X coordinate is going to be one and a half, so or one and five tenths. So of course, I'm going to start at my origin. I always start at the origin at zero, and I'm going to count one and a half units over. So I'm going to make one bunny hop from the origin, but you can see a problem. Uh, I can't go another full unit over because then I'd be at two, so I can actually only go another half unit over. So I'm going to carefully do one more half unit, uh, and that is going to be one and a half right there uh, between the one and the two. Now I'm going to count two and a half units up because our y coordinate is two and a half. So I'm going to start right there on the x axis and count two and a half units up one, two, and then one more half unit right there. And I'm going to plot that point and label it N. And of course, you don't have to show those lines. Those are really just so you can follow along. Now, you can use those to check to make sure that you actually plotted that at the right point. You can go back and see uh, our x coordinate is one and a half, and you can draw a line from your point down and of course that is at one and a half so i can make sure and then of course we can check that it's at the right y coordinate by drawing a line directly over and of course that does show up that it uh, meets at two and a half so that is a good thing to get in the habit of to make sure that you're really following uh, the proper lines okay uh, let's keep moving on our next point that we're going to try is going to be point t and point t will be at four and a half comma three and a half let's check it out so of course we start at the origin again and this time our x coordinate is four and a half so i need to count four and a half units over from the origin so here we go one two three four and now i need to go one more half unit over because it's going to be between the four and the five and there's four and a half right there. And now my y coordinate is three and a half, so I need to count up three and a half units from the x axis. Let's give it a shot. One, two, three, and then one more half unit up, three and a half. And we'll plot that point and label it T. Now, as always, I do want to make sure that I plotted those correctly. So I'm just going to go back and double check right now that that point is directly at four and a half and three and a half. It looks good. So I'm going to erase those lines. You really want to make sure that you're being thorough and double checking your answers. Now, I know I said we would be staying in the first quadrant, but I'm going to throw a couple of curveballs at you. So point Z is going to be at six and a half comma zero now you're probably already noticing that both of those numbers are not positive uh, zero of course is neutral so uh, this is not going to be in the first quadrant it's going to be one on one of our axis lines can you guess which one let's check it out so of course our x coordinate here is six and a half so i'm going to count six and a half units over from the origin one two three four five six one more half unit six and a half and then i'm going to plot that point we'll make this a little bit bigger so it's easy to see right there uh, and that's going to be point z okay let me fix that for a minute that's point z uh, and i want to try one last one with you and we'll make this point a and again, this is going to be another curveball because it's not necessarily going to show up right inside the first quadrant. It's going to show up on an axis line. Can you guess which one? So of course, we're going to start at zero, that our origin, and we're going to count over. Now notice our x coordinate is zero this time. So we actually stay right at the origin. We do not move right and we do not move left when the x value is zero. So I'm going to stay right here at the origin. And this time, I'm just going to count up because our y value, our y coordinate is four and a half. So I'm going to start at the origin, zero, zero, and I'm just going to count four and a half units up. One two three four 
and then one more half unit is going to be right there. And we'll plot that point a little bit bigger so it's easy to see. And then we'll label that A. So I hope that helps you understand how to plot some new points today. Plotting uh, points on a graph is super fun, but it can be a little bit tricky, especially when you get into decimals. So, of course, if you have any questions at all, make sure you email me. This is Mr. Nunn, signing out.